Hello, everybody, and welcome back to part two of me showcasing your builds Yay! after the frankly ridiculous amount of views I got for part one. I mean, I just have to make part two, don't I? <laughs> Plus, you guys would literally not leave me alone asking for part two. It's a little bit crazy. <laughs> now, just two things we want to mention just before we start the video. Firstly, these builds are all for Bedrock Edition. Okay, I got quite a few comments on my last one saying this build is copied from Mumbo or somebody who plays Java. When actually, no. Yes, the idea may have been copied. I don't know, okay? The person who made it can tell you. <laughs> actually, just saying that, I had so many comments saying, are you trying to be mumbo jumbo? N no, I'm not. Yes, I watch mumbo, but you know, there is going to have to be some similarities. I'm honestly not trying to copy anyone. And secondly, all the builds that I'm going to be showcasing today have been sent to me via YouTube. So part one was showcasing your builds in a Minecraft world with me walking around your build. But part two, which is obviously this one, is showcasing your builds via YouTube. Okay, that's enough waffling for me. So without further ado, let's get in to showcasing your builds part two. Oh my word, I nearly forgot. Sorry, just to interrupt myself for a second here. If you want to be in part three of this series, just stay to the end of the video where I'll show you how you can be in part three, okay? Right, we're ready. I've got my cup of tea. I'm feeling good. <laughs> we're ready. Now, if I don't show your video in this video, please don't be upset. It's nothing against you. It's just... I have time restraints. It's nothing against you or your builds. So for our first video, it's by someone called Redstone Guy. Now this was actually the first build that I got. So it says video for bow tie man, one wide three by three. Very nice. Let's have a look. My first ever one wide three by three piston door. That's nice and quick. Wow, that's really nice. That's very good. Well done. Did you say it's your first one wide as well? That's very good. Oh yes, that's a good idea. Put him back to back. With a four tick delay in between, oh very nice. Really like an epic corridor closing and opening. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> that looks really good. Great start. Oh well done. Okay, our next video we're gonna look at is called Video for Bowtie Man Tree Door. And this is by Jag101. Okay, so you break the log and then the door opens. That's smart. Oh, well done. Very good. Oh, here's one that looks interesting. Video for Bowtime and Dash Piston Racing by Danman29. Oh, if this is the um, person I'm thinking of, this person comments on my videos quite a lot. So thank you so much for the um, all the support you give me. It's great. <laughs> wow. That is a lot of redstone. <laughs> There's a lot of observers. Oh, I think I understand it. Okay. <laughs> this is quite cool. Send horses to track. Okay, it pushes it forward. Right. It's because pistons in bedrock are random. I think this is how it's working. So what it's doing, it's pulsing them at the same time. And it either it's going to pulse both of them. No, wait, that's not right. It's either going to pulse the front or the back. Yeah, it's working on the randomness of pistons. Oh, this is a clever idea, actually. Who's going to win? And... Is that a tie? No. Did, did the, uh, is that a red one one? Very nice. <laughs> it's very smart, actually. It's a good use of a, a, a mechanic that a lot of redstoners actually don't like. Um, I, for one, don't like how pistons are so random, but you've made it work to your advantage there. Okay, this one's by the Redstone Engineer, and it's a 4x4 volt door. Let's have a look at this. Okay, he's doing the reveal. Very nice, simple design. Very nice. The tutorial to this door will be in the description. Okay, so if you want to check the description um, of this video, go ahead. <laughs> oh, by the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these um, videos actually in the description as well. That's a nice little fast forward door there. Pretty in sync as well. It's not fully in sync, of course, but it's it's pretty much there. <laughs> okay, the next one is by Pantico's Mess. Sorry for the horrendous pronunciation. And it's Mumbo's Fancy Staircase. Oh, it's the one that goes out too wide, isn't it? Oh, let's have a look at this. Oh, he's saying hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, YouTube Penteco's mess. I have not made a tutorial on this yet. That's fine. And it's Mumbo's Fancy Staircase. Okay, so this is based on Mumbo's design. Click the lever. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Then close it. Oh, I like this. You know what? This is inspiring me to make my own one of these because I really like these things. I think FedEx recently uploaded one like this as well, which is really cool. 
That's very smart. Let's have a look at the redstone. Oh, he's not going to show the redstone. He's not going to show it. Okay, maybe when he does the tutorial, I don't know. <laughs> now onto our next one is a one wide three by three spiral door by Rhino Minecraft. This sounds really good. Again, I think this person's actually commented quite a lot on my channel. I think I recognize the um, the profile. Profile? Yeah, profile picture. <laughs> Let's have a look at this then. <laughs> he's got <laughs> he's he's got my sound effects. I love it. Sorry, I completely missed how the door was working. Then. Let's have a look again. Oh, very nice. Oh, good job. <laughs> okay, our next one is Video Hippo Time Man Dash Useless Door. I love anything useless. Um, let's have a look. <laughs> that is, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It is properly useless. <laughs> they go on to do a tutorial of it oh they do that's very smart Ooh, next one two by two seamless glass piston door by steve's crafts here's some footage of the build coming soon i was too lazy to edit it <laughs> oh that's nice it's fully seamless as well oh good job so i'm just going to pause here for a second sorry if my commentary is not great again um i'm getting a bit of a headache today and i don't know why it's annoying. <laughs> I just realized that I've got so many more to go. I've got to speed this up a little bit. <laughs> Another one is a 3x3 three three spiral door. Whoops, didn't mean to click that. This is by Christian Gaming. Hello, guys. Today we're going to make a dot 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 3x3 three three spiral door. Yay! <laughs> Let's have a look. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just didn't just even notice. He's using my skin. <laughs> I think I'm so used to seeing my skin in Minecraft that that literally has become the new norm for me. Oh, of course. That's quite, that's quite cool, seeing other people use my skin. As you can see here, we have a 3x3 three three spiral door, sorry. Nice. Okay. Very, very nice. And this is a full-blown tutorial as well. Well, if you want to make this, there is a tutorial in the description which you can check out, which is really awesome. Well done. Ah, oh, this one. The thumbnail of dreams this was. <laughs> I'm still amazed by this. Viscose comb. Sorry. Viscose comb. I, again, I'm butchering that name. and I don't know. Viscose comb. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go for. That was absolutely amazing. Um, if you didn't see my initial reaction to this, um, go and check out part one because, yeah, this literally blew my socks off. <laughs> Put this in perspective. This was made on his phone. <laughs> on his phone. No wonder it lags a little bit. Oh no. I can't say that name. How do I say that name? This is a supernova, which sounds pretty cool. Oh no, is it just TNT? What? I'm a little confused. Okay. <laughs> Pokey or Pocky, who always comments on my videos, she asks, what does it do? Good question. Nothing. Oh, fair enough. Awesome. You should definitely include that. <laughs> totally. Right. It's, it's going in. <laughs> Next one is a 3x3 three three Shutter Iris Door by WetMath3000. I like a good Iris Door. Ooh, that's nice. That's got a really nice opening and closing. Again, I just said it's nice. I should stop saying everything's nice. Uh, ooh. LBYT 2376 analog clock. Yes. And it's properly in time with the world. <gasps> I love it. Now that's really smart. I like this. Rotate until 6 a.m. Enjoy. That's really clever. Yeah, that's, I like that. Okay, our next one is by Bees1089. And come on, which is that thumbnail? I couldn't ignore it, could I? <laughs> oh, no. I edited out the audio. Well done, thank you. <laughs> okay, it's meant to be my face. YouTube Bees1089. 
same Instagram as well if you want to follow him. I got this idea from the video you made. I will eat you. Oh no! <laughs> That's horrible, isn't it? It's the shifting eye. The mouth I can deal with. It's the shifting eyes. It's that left and right. That's that's quite that's quite something. Okay, sorry. Now we've really got to get moving through these because I've just realised I've wasted so much time just waffling. Okay, All right. Four by four spiral piston door by. Oh come on, internet! Don't fail me now. <laughs> by Froston two three five. Let's have a look what he says. <laughs> Right. If possible, make a more compacted version faster if you want with a normal piston layout. This door is made by. Excuse me, I was reading that. <laughs> this door is made by. No! No, no, no! Frosting 234. Ah, no! <laughs> this door is made by. Frosting. Could you please hold it there? <laughs> this door is made by Froston235. Also, I love your content. That's very, very kind of you. Basically, what he's saying there is that it's an unusual piston layout because it is, he wanted to make it um, look really good. Go on then. Oh yes, that's nice. Well done. It says you got a similar a piston. I'm, I might be completely wrong here, but I think it's got a similar piston layout to an iris door. How it does those double piston extenders around the side. That is really, really cool. Really good job. Right, next one is a 9x9 nine nine volt door from Nobro06. Okay, this is going to be good. Oh, my word. <laughs> well done. Nicely done, Nobro. Again, I think this person comments quite a lot on my videos. So this, this is brilliant. Some of you guys are so clever. It's unreal. And again, it's made on a phone. Made on a Xiaomi Redmi Note. Wow. <laughs> Made on a phone. Very nice. Nice and quick too. I really like that. I mean, yes. Okay. You can see a lot of obsidian at the end, but it's a nine by nine and it's ridiculous, ridiculously quick. So I really don't mind about there being quite a lot of obsidian because it looks so cool. Well done. One I said I would definitely check out is by Ben the Human. Um, if you don't know Ben the Human, go check him out. Um, I've mentioned him on my channel before already. <laughs> He's a great bedrock youtuber who just does not get the views he should do so he's made a world first glass funnel door in minecraft three by three and four by four hello everyone today we're going to be looking at the first three by three and four by four glass funnel doors in minecraft bedrock edition because these two are the first of their kind okay now i know i said in my previous one that i don't want any talking through the videos but come on then the human has his own youtube channel to kind of maintain and if he posted a video with no sound i think people would be thinking what are you doing so <laughs> I'll, I'll let him off <laughs> and i didn't really bother with keeping them all that compact no that's with fine they three, look great <laughs> i did set myself some restrictions but with the four by four it had been many afternoons and many <laughs> many hours and yeah, to bet. be frankly honest with you guys i was starting to get a bit frustrated <laughs> so that's why it's this massive anyway, you know what though that frustration is such a real thing with any redstone if you don't get frustrated with redstone you're not doing it properly <laughs> no redstone can be seriously frustrating so let's have a look hey, it's three by three so for the three by three here we have the closing and as you can see how the oh, doors work i forgot yeah it's a funnel door i just i completely glazed over the funnel part of this door that's really smart so it moves it down then pulls that one back then retracts it then hides it away it's separated into two parts the three by three we glass are. door and the circuit yep. that pulls and pushes the center block that's back. That's really nice. Forward. Well done, Ben. So that's you great. Can individually control the three by three glass door, which is kind of cool. If I break this redstone torch, yeah, just do the, the closing, three by three. And if I replace that redstone torch, you can see that we get the opening, the opening. which is kind of nice. So for the four by four, I did the exact same thing where I had the glass. Of course, with the four by four, it is a, it's a lot more complicated. So four. let's have a look. So the closing, it works exactly the same. It's just that we have more sliders. <laughs> we have them not only on the sides, but also on That's the ceiling. That's brilliant, because we need to push Ben. Down the observers. Absolutely Anyways, fantastic. Once everything works. That looks that so good. That looks really good. 
I love this one. I mean, I like the three by three, but this is brilliant. Something quite funny about both of these doors is because they're made of glass and we can't have any visible pistons, mm -hmm. they also work as inverted funnel doors because you can see them from the other oh, yeah, side. Oh, of course, yeah. I just thought that was something kind of yeah. funny that was worth mentioning. Anyways, let's look at the opening. So, practically same thing happens. Sliders from the top, then from the sides, and then the blocks get pushed forward, and you have your... I think I said it in the previous clip. Some of you are so, so crazy good at redstone. This is fantastic. But yeah, everything gets pushed out of the way. Really? If that doesn't say subscribe to Ben the Human, I don't know what will. So go subscribe to him because his videos are brilliant. Okay, this one looks a bit strange by Harry Truman. Can I just say, what a great name. I mean, Harry, I mean, fantastic. <laughs> you get my vote just for that. <laughs> Is it, oh, I just realized I wasn't even playing the video. What an idiot. <laughs> this, this is the person that some of you say, oh, wow, you're so clever. No, I'm really not. I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> That's really cool. And it retracts as well. Very nice. <laughs> Very simple little build, but I like it. Okay, this is the next one's by Redstone Geek, and he's made a cat bank. He made Mumbo Jumbo's cat bank, but for Bedrock Edition. So look at it working. <gasps> that's really nice if you don't know what a cat bank is basically you put a coin on a little slot and a little cat paw comes out grabs the coin and puts it back into the bank and mumbo's design basically was to do that which you can see now but then what it does it grabs that coin or that you know block and then puts it in a stack um and then pushes it with these pistons on the left here you can see these ones here that's really nice oh well done that's good <laughs> Again, completely impractical, but really, really awesome. And the last thing we're going to check out is this one. Video for Bowtime Man dash Spark Spot. Sometimes he makes no sense. <laughs> oh, great. I love people who make no sense because... Is there a wandering trader? Really? <laughs> Again? <laughs> okay, yep, he's excited. <laughs> Presuming this is meant to be a Grumbot type thing? I think? We'll see. Step one, name the question, okay? He's going to name the question and insert it. Is the Bowtie Man amazing? <laughs> what a great question. Um, if he answers yes, he's lying. <laughs> Press the button. It takes a couple of seconds. That's okay. <laughs> His mouth pumps in and out. Okay, we've got, we've got an answer. Am I amazing? Question mark. Probably not. Yes. I think your um, contraption's a little bit broken, Mr. Sparks. I'm really sorry to have to tell you that. <laughs> so, you want to be in part three? Make your most crazy, ridiculous, funny contraption you possibly can, but then you've got to send me the world. So for part three, we're not going to be looking at YouTube videos. You need to send me your Minecraft world. And you can either do that by exporting the world or sending me the zip file whatever just send me in the world not a video and good news if you're a java player because i will be showcasing some of your builds as well in part three but only a few so the same guidelines apply as last time just make sure your build is family friendly that you send me the world via media fire if that's okay um what else is there um oh yeah if you want a channel shout out if you have a youtube channel or a twitter or a discord whatever make sure you have a sign on your build somewhere where i can read it out and then people can follow you wherever you choose. So just as a recap, please send me your builds via Mediafire if you can. And if you can link that Mediafire page in this video, that would be perfect. Please don't link it into any other video because I don't want to be searching hundreds of videos trying to find yours, okay? And the very last thing, if you can just limit yourself to one build, that would be absolutely fantastic, okay? It just gives more chance to everybody else. Just remember, this is not a competition. Just send me in your builds. If you found it funny, if it's silly, whatever, just send me it in and I may be able to show it in the video, okay? But sadly, that is all... Did I just break my own build? Oh, that is all we have time for. I'm really, really sorry. I haven't even scratched the surface of your videos. And again, I just want to apologize. I'm, I would love to make a whole video, which is about three hours long, showcasing all of your videos. But I just, I just don't get the time, I'm afraid. But I really hope you did enjoy those few builds I did showcase. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Hey, I just broke it again. Anyway, 
I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye! Nice. Nice. Very nice. Nice.